Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome to the Learning Lab, episode number 30, Historical Everyday Paper Dolls. Come on into the lab today and let me share with you what I did with my students to review all of their biographical people that they needed to learn for their unit of studies. I'm so glad you joined me in the lab today. Aren't these historical representations just absolutely darling? I will come in later for a closer look, but I want to let you know how we wound up at this point. We started out the year by reading some historical books about each of their biographical people that they had to learn. I'm just going to share with you a few of the books that I really loved. And this is The Bus Ride That Changed History. They love it. The language is simple and um, the best part about it is that it is historically accurate. I also picked up several of these graphic novel books and again these appeal to the young boys. So if you have, if you have a young boy in your classroom who just cannot seem to get into reading, check out some of these graphic novels. Research has shown that if you give them something like this They'll get into it and actually not want to put it down. But we had two, one on George Washington and another on Thomas Jefferson. These books are spot on and uh, these two that I'm sharing were written by Matt Doden and they are great. The girls love them also. Now this one is a little different than the graphic novel and it's one, Getting to Know the U.S. Presidents and it goes through all the presidents up through uh, number 43, George W. Bush but it pretty much shares the life of George Washington. And this one might be for your more advanced reader, but it still reads like a graphic novel. Now my all-time favorite that I read with every grade level I work with, whether it's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, and that is These Picture Books by David Adler. There are tons of them. If you look on the back, it shows you other books that he has written. Well, he does a really good job of telling the story of these people complete with pictures. And I read this to all of my students. They love them. They can recall the information and it's wonderful. So that was the one on Dr. King. There's also one that we did on Abraham Lincoln. And also it helps to give them a picture in their mind that they can create. When we talk about the log cabin that he grew up in and living on the farm, the kids get a nice idea of what that looks like. And when we go to work with it, a lot of this I find translates into helping them understand what the book was about. A third one was the picture book of Thomas Jefferson. Again, great. The kids could see that he loved playing the violin while his wife accompanied him on the piano. A lot of Mr. Jefferson's inventions, some of us know him as an inventor, some of us don't. And that's just a picture of some of the things he invented. And also of how he was charged, along with the committee, to draft the Declaration of Independence. He did the majority of the writing, but he did have a group of men who helped him. And now, aside from that, I also brought in some factual books. And this is one, uh, Abraham Lincoln. This is by Lola Schaefer. And it's an easy read, but you can go through all of these with the children with the title page, talking about uh, the table of contents, where to find the information that they want, going there. And as you can see, the language is simple and readable. But I like this because these are photos that have been archived that have been able to be used in this book. So what they're seeing, for the most part, will be actual pictures. There's Mr. Um, Lincoln, who loved to read. And there are pictures in here that the kids can relate to. So this was wonderful also. Now this one is called Meeting Famous People, and this is by Edith Hope Fine. Uh, Rosa Parks, Meet a Civil Rights Hero. There are a lot of books available in this series, Meeting Famous People, from Muhammad Ali to Walt Disney to Sacagawea. Lots of them. And again, you can teach the children how to read these kinds of books by going through what's found on each page. I love using the table of contents. You can go right to what you want to find. And again, we have actual pictures of Rosa Parks that have been archived and preserved for us and it really helps the children to relate 
uh, to what she was doing and what was happening in her life. So when they see these signs, they say, you know, did this really happen? And I say to them, sadly, yes it did. And I grew up in an area in Alabama where this was rampant. So I can actually bring some of my own personal experience into it for them. Uh, another favorite of mine is also uh, David Adler. He's written quite a number of these, mainly uh, for younger readers, but again, it brings in that historical information. This one uh, may be a little higher level, but they're still readable for my kids. I try to find books for them that's going to be at their reading level, but will also stretch them to reach to the next level. And believe me, they do it. And the last one that I'll share is uh, by Faith Ringel. If a uh, bus could talk, the story of Rosa Parks. Again, this is more of a cartoon one, but it's for a higher level reading reader, so they get the chance to read some of these books that are geared to younger readers, but has a lot more information, and they can really participate in having a semi graphic novel also. And I think the uh, illustrations in here are just absolutely awesome. We also watched videos. Great videos. If you're not a member of United Streaming, you should check them out. Uh, pay for it, and they're awesome, awesome, awesome animated series videos about the majority of these people. As we read books and watched videos and shared our information, we completed a history frame for each person. Now, this history frame came from um, readingquest.org. I took the class through UVA. And this is how I found access to this. But when you go through um, the history frame, it's actually mapping your story. And this one was George Washington, and we set him in the time of the Revolutionary War, all the people who participated, the key players, um, the problem or a goal he had, where and when this happened, some of the key events that happened, um, what was the resolution or the outcome of the problem or the goal, and what did we learn from this? And I'd actually love to share with you what this particular class came up with. I did this with um, four different classes for a total of 75 students. And here's what this particular class came up with when it came to George Washington for what we learned. He said that people should be allowed to govern themselves. And no matter how well trained the other side is, you still have a chance to win. So never give up. When it came to Dr. King, the kid said, we should treat everyone equally. Change can happen peacefully. Only love can drive out hate. Okay, that last one was mine. As we talked about, I kind of led them to that, and I said, you know what, I kind of like that. As a matter of fact, I love that, because love can drive out hate. But that's what they learned from the life and legacy of Dr. King. As for President Lincoln, we learned that uh, slavery is bad, also that war is bad, and sadly, fighting does not solve everything. Love it, love it, love it. So then what did we learn from uh, Mr. Jefferson, our third president? Everyone has the right to be free. Hard work can be rewarding, and people can govern themselves. I have to tell you, we read a fabulous book uh, written by Nikki Giovanni, and we had an opportunity to go into United Streaming and find a clip of her in the illustrator talking about how this book came together and the illustrator's vision behind it. I'd love to show it to you, but I've returned it back to the library already. What was the lesson learned? Segregation is wrong. Uh, stand up for your rights. And they said, we can all help bring changes in laws to give all people equal rights also by David Adler, a picture book of Thurgood Marshall. They learned from him, whatever you do, become the very best at what you do. If it's mopping floors, be the best floor mopper that ever lived. If it's changing lives, be the best life changer you can ever be.